How's everybody doing? My name is Carmen. And I'd just like to first say that my wife and I have come to this church uh, two or three times, and I think every time we've come, I've complained about the fact that it seemed awfully warm in here. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, wearing these shorts up here, I'm not gonna say that anymore. <laughs> I don't feel warm today. <laughs> Just like to start off by saying, for most of my life, I made all of my own decisions. Some of them were right, but a majority of them were wrong. I got involved with drugs at a very early age and became addicted to drugs, among other things, which eventually caused me to be incarcerated. And as they say in the vernacular, you only end up, if you do drugs, and if you sin like I sin, sin when I was young, there's only two directions, either jail or the grave. And I believe I was fortunate. I was incarcerated for two years in the early 70s. After my release, I asked God to forgive me and to help me become a responsible, law-abiding citizen. God answered my prayers. I was no longer addicted, and for the better part of the last 30 years, I've considered myself a good person and have obeyed the laws of society. The only problem is that I was still making my own decisions and only speaking to God when I needed help. I now know that it takes more than that to get into the kingdom of heaven. I have asked God for his forgiveness and have repented from all of my sins. I now want to know all there is to know about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I now want him to be in complete control of my life. I now know beyond a shadow of a doubt that his way is the only way. And the only other thing I have to say is uh, this walk is to be continued. All right. Do you believe in Jesus Christ's life, death, and resurrection? I do. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. Do you understand that in baptism you identify yourself with Christ's life, death, and resurrection and becoming a part of the bride, his church? Yes. Do you commit to follow him all the days of your life, not only as your Savior, but as your Lord? Yes, I do. Then in the name of Jesus Christ, on behalf of this church, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father God, I come before you, Lord, and I just uh, lift up Carmen to you, Lord, that um, today is made a public confession, Lord, that you are his Lord and Savior. Lord, I just ask that you, you would uh, guide all of the footsteps of his life, Lord, and that you would bless him. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.